Hey guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com and I'm going to actually walk you through today Google's Keyword Planner and you can see it's a little new looking so there's some new features going on here and um, this is all pairs in with the new interface and everything that's getting rolled out so stay tuned and we'll dig right into it. Okay guys, so here's the new Keyword Planner new layout design pop your keywords in here you can do forecasts and metrics down here now you can get here by either googling Google AdWords Keyword Planner or you can simply just pop over into your AdWords account hit the wrench Keyword Planner so that's pretty much how you get here now let's dig right into how to use it so let's say you're a uh, who should we be today how about a roofer Philadelphia. Let's have a keyword you want to do. Philadelphia roofing company. Cool. Get started. So here's our main keyword. We're gonna we're gonna build an ad group around that. Roofing company in Philadelphia. You can see here you got your average searches, competition, some bids, but I always say take those with a grain of salt. That's going to change. It's going to vary wildly. So these are all, so this is this should be our one ad group, okay? Philadelphia Roofing Company. So any keyword that's Philadelphia and Roofing Company, we'll make that into one ad group. So companies, yes. Roofers in Philadelphia, that would be its own ad group. Roofer, roofing Contractors in Philadelphia, that would be its own ad group. Roofing Philadelphia, it's kind of broad, but yeah, why not test it in its own ad group? Just bid low. Best roofers in Philadelphia. Probably toss that in here. Roof repair, I put that in its own ad group. Contractor, we'll go under the contractor ad group. So you kind of see what I'm doing here? You're just grouping them together. Repair, so here's negatives we don't want. Seal it. Take that. I would phrase match negative that. Okay, so we don't want to show our ad for any keyword with the word seal in it. That's people looking for products and stuff, not a Philadelphia roofing company to come give them a quote or an estimate or whatever you know they do. And these are all other ad groups. I mean, that's kind of broad. I wouldn't even do that. So, so we just built, if you're paying attention here, a bunch of different Philadelphia ad groups for roofing. And obviously, each each one of these you would take into a uh, Google Sheets doc or Excel or whatever. Take it, make it its own column as an ad group, and then drop all the keywords below it. So each ad group you have, I would come back in here, take that ad group, put it in here, search, go through the keywords, and uh, build out your ad groups that way. Let's scroll down and see what else to give us. Commercial roofing contractors, that's its own ad group. Here's a good one. Affordable roofing, Philadelphia PA, that's its own ad group. The theme of affordable. So with ad groups, it's all it's all about having tightly themed ad groups, keywords, ads, going to a tightly themed landing page. That's literally it. And I don't know how people screw that up all the time with AdWords. They they tell you what, what they want you to do everywhere. It is literally friggin' everywhere and people just don't do it. Another thing is it'll do broad match. Just stay away from broad match keywords in your AdWords campaign. I, like I said this before in a couple other videos, I'm gonna make some more advanced stuff, but just don't even mess with it. You're just gonna burn all your money. It's ridiculous. Start every campaign out with exact and phrase match only. Get some data after seven, fourteen, thirty days. Then start adding into each ad group modified broad match keywords and build them out from there. And then you'll know what, what what's working, what's not. Pause the losers, up scale up the bids and the winners. It's that simple, guys. Metal roofing company, that's its own ad group. So you kind of see what I'm doing here, right? You're just gonna put in your keywords and you're gonna build out a whole list of ad of different ad groups in your uh, Excel sheet or wherever you're building your ad groups. Roofers union, so there's a good negative union. Union roofing, that's another roofing company in Philly. Thompson, like these are all Thompson. You want to take 
they were Thompson, Fisher. These are all negatives that you got to take into account. And people just don't even understand the power of a keyword planner. It's, it's wild. I mean, yeah, it's time consuming. It really is. But you got to go through it. And if you just go through it, you'll be light years ahead of your competition because what they're doing, your competition, most of them, I'd say probably 95%, 90%, 95%. They're just taking all these keywords and they're downloading it and they're just putting them into an aggro. And it's, it's, it's literally campaign suicide to do that. It's the worst thing you could possibly do. So take the time, comb through, build out your ad groups, and then just drop them into AdWords. And make sure you have a really tightly knit negative keyword list. Like, look, siding contractor, what the hell does that do with being a roof? Like, people just put this in there too and they'll bid on it. And they'll get crushed. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, doing your keyword research. So currently there's two different keyword planners. I'm not really sure why. There's this version. And then if we go through Google, for some reason earlier today it took me to a different version. The older version. Let's see if it's still doing that. Yep, the older version. Excuse me. Okay, so this is the older version. Not really sure why that's doing that, but let's try that here. Let's just see what the search volumes are for Philadelphia. Save that. Show probably related. No. Can they show ideas closely related to my search terms? Yes. Get ideas. Yep, so this is still the old planner. I'm not really sure why they have two of them right now. Let's so reach out to Google about that. I think this is just more for like forecasting and stuff. But either way, it's the same rule of thumb, no matter what you're using. You're just going to go through, and you're going to do all your, your, uh, your uh, what's it called, your ad groups and stuff. So this is not showing as much because I did it closely related. Let's see what it does here. Okay. Try one more time. Spell, which apparently I can't. Okay, get ideas, add group ideas. Well, we don't want that. I wonder why they're not using the stamp thing anymore. Let's turn that off. Let's try again. There we go. So it kind of just lists out your ad groups for you in the old one. Don't, do not just add these, okay? Because, watch, let's, let's go through one and see if there's something. So this ad group is saying roofing contractors. That would be the theme of the ad group. So you would think that the only keywords in this ad group would be just roofing contractors, roofing contractor services, roofing contractor company. Nope, commercial roofing contractors, that's a whole different ad group. We don't want that. Metal roofing contractors, that's a whole different ad group. Roofing contractors in my area, that's a good one. Residential, I'd break that off into its own ad group. Best, that's good. Maryland, like, what? <laughs> See our location? <laughs> right, so, yeah, this is what I mean. So just be careful, be mindful, and if you just follow what I just showed you in this video, which is really simple stuff, anyone can do this. You guys will save so much friggin' money, it'll be ridiculous, and your competition, who I'm telling you, I know it's hard to believe, they're just coming in here, and they're just hitting go, 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 and building an ad group, and then getting pissed off when they get shitty results and blaming AdWords and saying AdWords doesn't work. But we're smarter than that. We know how to do this. So I know you guys can do it. And um, let me know if you have any comments or questions or anything like that. Drop them in the comments below the video. I'd love to hear how you guys do your research. And as always, subscribe to our channel. Like this video. Share it. Hopefully you can save someone else from making this mistake and getting crushed. And I dropped some, a few different links in the description and one to our Facebook group. Make sure you guys join that where we just talk like more high level advanced strategies and tutorials and stuff like that. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the Facebook group.